hello welcome once again in this video we're going to be talking about how to build an interesting prayer life also doubling as the fourth point considering the considering the prayer series answering why people struggle with their prayer life so right ahead the first thing on how to build an interesting prayer life we must understand the place of variety Variety does not just make things multifaceted, it makes things interesting with diverse choices, tastes, flavor, blends, style and so on. We usually tend to find prayer boring when we are so routined. We are so routined, we fight and close off against varieties. There are different kinds of prayers such as prayers of praises and thanksgiving, prayers of worship and adoration, prayers of request and petition, prayers for edification, prayers of or for warfare, intercessory prayers, prayers of stillness and silence. And most times, we don't necessarily have to pray them all at once, even though there is a defined method of coming to God in prayer. For example, in Psalm 100, verse 4, he said, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. There is defined, prescribed manner with which we come to the presence of the Lord. And most times, um, there are varieties to prayer. So if we don't understand that there are varieties to prayer, most times we just come routine and we keep doing the same thing over and over again. And that's the first rule of boredom. The first rule of boredom is not just um, our routines, but it's do, being religiously commi committed to routine without um, little changes or adjustments part time. Next. We must understand and accept the truth that prayer does not have to be lengthy to be effective. So, over time, a lot of people have thought, okay, it depends on the amount of, or the quality of time you spend in prayer that makes prayer effective. But that is not true. Although there is a grace that enables one to, one to tarry, um, tarry long in the place of prayer, but judging effectiveness in prayer by the lengthiness of our stay is usually not far from idolizing prayer and being full of pride because of it this is something i've done in the past and um i i i think i have um authority to speak on this wise long prayers are good and desirable but if the end and the glory does not have flesh as itself only so long prayers are good long prayers are effective if the center is not you if the center is not flesh. The next thing we must consider on, um, on how to build an effective prayer life is we must learn how to carry on a continual conversation with the Lord even in our heart as we go about our day or our daily activities. This is also called practicing the presence of the Lord and it's taught by Brother Lawrence in the book with the same title. Continual prayers are one of the strongest and fastest ways of building intimate relationships with God and being aware of His presence with and around you. So we must learn how to carry continual conversations with the Lord. You know, um, I've come to find out that most times the, 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 the most quality time I've spent in prayer where I really feel the presence of the Lord were not times where um, I go there shouting, I go there barraging and conquering and subduing nobody at those times where in the stillness and the quietness you know this is all this also called Neta's prayer of stillness you know i just go there i just talk to him like i'll talk to my counselor i talk i talk to him like i'll talk to my therapist i talk to him like he's there he's listening sitting across the table you know i just i, I just open up i just plainly tell him things no no aesthetics no decoration no ritual no religion i just go on you know i enter his courts with i enter his gates with thanksgiving i enter his courts with praises i worship him then from then i just go on to the matters at heart and i talk to him in a heart-to-heart -heart way so in closing you must learn to enjoy variety in the place of prayer knowing that knowing that Diverse ways to connect with and fellowship with God always brings freshness when we go about it. So, you should know routines are reinforced by varieties, not by still repetition. I still remind Josiah Emanuel Adeza. Thank you so much. 
I wish you a successful prayer life.